Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So I want to talk about Gaskell, I want to talk about Ragnar once more because over on the GW website um, something has happened now. Um, the Gaskell model has completely disappeared off the GW website. We know that this is always down to that Gaskell is getting a new model. We've seen the previews, we've seen all that, but is it going to be coming um, a little sooner than we actually predicted? And, and also over on the US website, Ragnar has disappeared. He's available on all the other websites, but just on the US site alone, he's disappeared. So I just want to talk about those two. Um, also, uh, Valhallans are up for pre-order um, next week as well, which is very, very interesting. If you like Valhallans, Imperial Guard, uh, they're being made to order once again. So let's jump in, let's take a look at it all, and let's just get talking. So as I mentioned, if you go over on the Games Workshop right now and you search Gaskell or, you know, filter it by Orcs, HQs, as I was doing, go over to anywhere, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the UK, anywhere like that, Gaskell has completely disappeared off the website. We all know this is because Gaskell is getting a new model. But of course, we all know that Gaskell is getting a new model, and we were putting it down to that he's got to be coming in Saga of the Beast. Now, Saga of the Beast is coming out in March next month. So why would they take it off right now? Yes, it makes sense for them to take it off because they don't want people buying an old model um, while a new model is going to be coming out but for me and um, they normally do this around um a week before or you know in i think it marks like two weeks before so i'm thinking are we actually going to have the pre-orders for saga of the beast at the end of this month because it is like more or less halfway through of february now and then um it's going to be released in early march because i was thinking that this is probably going to come out to the middle or the back end of march so um this being changed now on the gw website has really raised my eyebrow a little bit and um, i'm hoping that this is going to be something else um in a bigger sense as well because there's been a lot of talk about a box set and we all know um, um orcs deserve um an update we, we know this well all the xenos factions uh, you can argue deserve an update yes i know you xenos players i feel your pain at the moment with some of the lack of models that you have but we've had some um orc rumor images um come out um, um recently one is of course this boot remember that came out around christmas time uh, the boot and everyone was like what the hell could that be and um, we know that it's not part of um uh, gas goes little banner bearer because we've actually seen him previewed as well there, there he is in the background so it's nothing to do with him we've also had that finger hand pointing with a pair of binoculars where people have argued that it could be um, an imperial guard unit the katajans um where that's what that's what i said it could be if it, if, if it was human but also people are arguing that no it's 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 an orc it's too big for a human hand now if these two of course are down to orcs which it it, it definitely does seem to i could probably still argue about the hand being a catagen hand but the boot itself is definitely an orc boot does this mean that we're we're got to get more than that we fought in the saga of the beast because in engine war the uh, the adeptus mechanicus are getting a ton of new stuff they're getting new flying infantry units they're getting new fast attack units on like cyber mounts and they're also getting that brand new flyer as well i'm wondering could a saga of the beast potentially be getting that same type of love but gw have been keeping it under wraps to really spoil it us at really this stage you know getting the hype up for that kit so um, i'm wondering now is the box set potential still there because that's what the rumor has been about now it started back last year that orcs were going to be in the box set people were saying it was going to be um a black templar box set that never happened that really got me hyped because i was like oh boy new black templars but I'm wondering if it is actually actually down to orcs being in the box set with space wolves because of course we know that that is confirmed for them being in this box set because ragnar himself has actually disappeared off the US website. Yes, you can get him in all the other parts of the world, but in North America, um, so America and and um, Canada, um, he's gone. He's 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 completely disappeared, just like what Gaz Skull has. There's no like you know out of stock or anything like that. He's gone. If you search Ragnar now on the US or Canadian website, he's gone. Um, so I'm thinking, could this be a potential sign that Ragnar is also going to be getting a new model? For the psychic awakening and injunction that could be a part of the box set which could be coming out with the orcs i think that'd be a, a, a fantastic idea i know everyone's always stated that ragnar needs a run day if you just look at the ragnar model now look how old he looks yes it, back in the day he was the bee's knees i'm always going to say this i'm not smacking on the model or anything like that back in the day he was the rule of cool but if you compare him to the stuff that we've had recently he doesn't really stand up to the test of time and he definitely needs a brand new model and of course with all 
the stuff that we've had with Space Marines, every first founding chapter so far has had a brand new Space Marine model. Every first founding chapter. Not Black Templars. Say, Barrett, Black Templars have it. Black Templars are not first founding. I'm sorry, guys. They're not. I know Black Templars deserve models, but they haven't got them. Um, so if they were to just avoid the Space Wolves and not give anything to the Space Wolf players, it would be a really weird strategy from Games Workshop themselves, even though they've given everyone else in the Space Marine first, uh, first founding chapters their own model, whether it's new model or a, a model from the law that has basically been primarified. So I'm definitely thinking that Ragnar is on track for coming out with Saga on the beat as well. My fingers crossed that it won't be just like two HQ models. I really, 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 really want it to be coming out in a box set where you get Gas Skull in there, you get a couple of new Orc units in there, hopefully maybe some um, like you know elite units or whatever could possibly happen with the Orcs. And on the other side, you have Ragnar leading the Space Wolves um, and you have some Space Wolf models in that box set as well. I don't think it's going to be anything new Primaris-wise. Um, I can't really see that at this stage. I think they're going to be really waiting to do that kind of stuff around um, Adepticon when we're going to get them previews of hopefully new Primary stuff because that blur image which was on everyone's mind still hasn't really come out to the public or GW hasn't acknowledged it even though we all believe it's real, I believe it's real I just think GW is just avoid talking about it or anything like that until they're ready to show it and I think it's going to be Adepticon when they're going to show that so I don't think if they do do um, a box set between the Space Wolves and the Orcs I don't think there's going to be anything new Primary wise in there I think he's just going to have like stuff like Intercessors or the Gressors, you know, Hell Blasters, Inceptors, some of the stuff that we're familiar with with the Primaris range. It's just going to be, um, hopefully, a better deal for you to buy it with a friend and split, you know, the both armies that'll be in there. So one can wish that will go down. We'll see very, very soon. Hopefully tomorrow is going to be the day that they're going to be showing something off because Mondays are always... And the Psychic Awakening days, of course, I'll be here doing the things I do, you know, making the videos of it if anything does drop. Hopefully, it's like the full reveal trailer. That is something I would absolutely lose my mind off if they actually reveal Gaz Skull um, with, in his Feel Glorious as a trailer, but also then tease maybe a box set at the end of it. That could that could be absolutely incredible. Anyway, moving on to more news um, today, uh, Sunday. We have a Sunday preview, and it's Valhalla. The Valhalla Nice Warriors are coming back sadly they're not new models they are definitely not new models but we are getting um some um uh, made to order models much like we got with the vostrians um, um a couple of months how, how long was that ago i think it was like three four months back now if, if i remember right i love the valhallans the valhallans are definitely in my top three imperial guard chapters i love the snowy theme about them i love the kind of soviet era that they've got like around him and stuff like that and also if you've read the Kafias Kane books he actually fights with the Valhalla Nice Warriors and uh, those books are absolutely incredible. I've always said uh, that if we were in 40k like everyone's like I'll be a space ring yes I'll be this space ring I'll be that space ring seriously we'd all be like Kafias Kane really acting like the brave guy but trying to keep out of the battle as much as possible and then taking all the praise and looking glorious with all the uh, medals and stuff like that at the end of the day now the actual models that are going on for um, made to order it says here um, there's going to be of course the 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 the, the, the ten man um, ice warrior squad but you can also grab Valhalla and special weapon which is it says here three warriors armed with a metal gun flame and grenade launcher as well as a choice of four heavy weapons teams and manning a missile launcher auto cannon heavy bolters and a mortar they also have showing off on their website um, um a commissar the uh, the 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 valhalla nice warrior of commissar and uh, you also have another hq choice on there as well it says if you want to grab yourself a platoon of valhallans the aptly named valhalla platoon offers you a commander Cheknov two-man infantry squads and a heavy weapon squad of three auto cannon teams for considerably less than picking up them individually so they are doing like a little box set that is something i actually i'm very very interested in picking up i don't whether to jump in and do this because um i'm, I'm still holding out for new models but with gw doing this i think their intention is is that they're not really going to be giving Valhalla, well, the Valhalla Nice Warriors, any new models anytime soon, which is kind of a blow because I really do think that the Imperial Guard deserve either a new regiment or a regiment that's spiced up from from the old regiments, like the what you know, Praetorians, Vostrians, um, Talon Desert Raiders, one of these regiments to receive some new plastics and just bring it into 
you know the awesome place that we know all the models are at the moment with Warhammer 40,000. And lastly, for you people who love good old Commissar Yarrick, you can actually order classic Commissar Yarrick and made to pre-order as well. And he's got his glorious orc claw that he took. Um, looking fabulous. I absolutely love um, um, some of the designs of the old um, um, 40k models back in the day. They have that like, kind of 2D kind of posture where it looks like they just be made to go on paper um but yeah they're incredible i love them all it really takes me back seeing you know 40k back in the old days let's say so if you're a fan of old commissar yarrick then there we go you can actually get his model um, next week as well all right chapter news that is me done for another video thank you for coming thank you for watching as always what are your thoughts on gaskell going from the gw store what are your thoughts on ragnar disappearing from the u.s store i'll have to say that it's only from the u.s and the canadian store so basically not north american stores at this moment in time it could just be like a repackaging of ragnar um but i i, I just i just can't do it i just i just can't take it I, there's something there has to be something more to it there really has to be because if space wolves don't get something new when saga of the beast comes along i i, I just i well i just don't think it'd be fair to the space wolf players when everyone else from the first founding got something else and they didn't anyway leave your thoughts feedback and everything like that down in the comment section down below and we'll have a nice little chat as always down there thank you for coming thank you for watching see you now and bye bye